We've got Against All Odds coming up, and Jordan Grace, as you know by now, if you're a TNA fan, will be issuing an open challenge. Initially, based on uh, two weeks ago, the episode of Impact, my assumption was that Allison K was going to uh, wrestle her at Against All Odds, but that's going to happen on the next episode of Impact. So if you're watching the show, she's just defending the title against anybody at this point. Um, so an open challenge, I think, makes a lot of sense because there's a lot of buzz behind her right now after the NXT appearance, and uh, we know that she's going to be challenging for the NXT Women's Championship at Battleground. Um, you notice they call it the Knockouts Championship. They will not throw World in front of it. Uh, AEW didn't do it with the, with the TNA title or the Impact Championship, I should say. Uh, WD, WWE slash NXT will not do it with the Knockouts Championship, but that's okay. I, I, th I think it actually sounds better to say the Knockouts Championship, but neither here nor there. So I, I know that the dirt sheets right now are putting out that someone from NXT is going to show up to, or they're speculating, I should say. They're speculating pretty hard because they almost sound like it's a fact, but they're speculating that it's going to be someone from NXT. Now, if you haven't heard me speak on this already, I've spoken on it a couple a couple times when I was reviewing Impact and then one of my other uploads. I'm only telling you what I was told, and I would never bullshit you guys. As a military member, I have integrity. I would never feed bad information to you guys. Um, if I tell you something, like I try to differentiate when something's my opinion and and if I'm told something, okay. I'm told that there's, and this is as of like, I'm going to say a week ago, maybe maybe a little over a week. It was probably, yeah, because it was like right around the time that Jordan debuted. It was like the day after. As of that moment, there's no plans for, for someone from NXT to show up on TNA programming. That does not mean that five seconds after I was told that, that, you know, those plans didn't change. You know, the, it very well could have changed a day later. So I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to tell you is this is not set in stone. Okay. Because I know, I know some, some of you motherfuckers out there will BQ said this. No, I, I'm not putting anything in stone. I'm, I'm simply telling you what I was told was opposite of the, the dirt sheet stuff that you're reading right now. Um, Again, that doesn't mean someone might not show up. If it is from some, someone from NXT, awesome. I think that would be cool. I've already said I think Sol Ruka is is the person I want to see hop over. But my, I don't know, my wrestling gut is usually wrong. <laughs> I'll, I'll admit that. My gut is I see something happen at Slam, happening at Slammiversary in like a multi-man match. That's 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 what I'm envisioning. Multi woman match, whether it's Ultimate X or a six way or whatever. I, I kind of see them bringing someone over at that point. The NXT women's division's fairly solid, uh, but I don't think I don't think there's like a huge name that you know out there. I think Jada Parker has it. Like she just she just bleeds the it factor, but she's still pretty new over there. Uh, for me, visually, like Sol Ruka and uh, Jordan Grace wrestling would be a, a fucking amazing match. But visually, it just it would just look great on 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 paper. So yeah, it, it's really possible that someone from NXT could come over. I uh, I feel like it's going to be Natty Nightheart because because, and I'm not an expert on WWE, but I asked some of my you know, friends and colleagues that, that watch it. Uh, I believe her contract is up, or she's between contracts right now. She's already kind of openly said she wants to jo wrestle Jordan Grace. I think it makes a lot of sense. And, you know, it falls into what the fans are looking for. The fans are looking for some kind of WWE-esque talent to show up on the show. And if what I'm being told is is correct, that it's, you know, again, this is weak old information, but it, that there's no plans for someone from NXT to show up on the show. 
then this kind of makes sense that they're able to make something happy happen with Natty Neidhart. And that would be, you know, I, I know TNA throws the term around pretty loosely, but it would be a dream match for many people. A lot of people really, really want to see that right now. And this is probably the only opportunity we would have to get that match. So I'm kind of leaning towards that happening rather than sending someone over from NXT. And again, <laughs> I'm trying to like beat this into your brains. It's what I was told. The information could very well change the next day. But I think Natty Nightheart would make a lot of sense. Now, the other thing I've kind of said, I said it when I was reviewing Impact, is that you need to temper your expectations because TNA answers open challenges with people from the roster. You know, like if you're watching AEW, for instance, they do a lot of open challenges and it's usually someone, it's someone debuting, it's or it's someone from Japan or, or, or whatever. I would not put, put that past TNA, but I don't think that's what's happening here. But I, I, I'd be lying if I said that wasn't in the back of my mind that, you know, Giselle Shaw comes out, someone from Mexico comes out. They've, I would say in the last like two or three years, the open challenges have kind of like shit the bed more often than not, especially with the men though. You know what I mean? It's, it's how many rhinos and PCOs and, and dreamers, um, how have we gotten over the years? Jake somethings. He's answered a couple. I mean, fuck it at, uh, at, uh, hard to kill. They had two surprise partners and both of them were from the roster. You know, and then at Snake Eyes, they appeared to have, it wasn't really an open challenge, but it was a J, J Vidal, you know, I challenge, it was basically an open challenge. It was PCO, you know, so thank God PCO cannot challenge for this belt. Uh, thank God Rhino can't, but I would be lying if I didn't say it was in the back of my mind that one of the knockouts or, or you know, the, the ODBs of the world or some shit like that answer this open challenge. I don't think that's what's going to happen. I think it would be the biggest fart in church. And they would lose a lot of goodwill with the fans if if it's someone like that. You know, this is, I mean, they've done it to us so many times with open challenges. If they did it in this instance right here, the open challenge would be nothing going forward. The, the fans would completely uh, turn on them when it comes to those words, open challenge going forward. So, I'm going to go. That is going to be my prediction that it's going to be Natty Nightheart. Uh, but then again, you know, it very well could be someone from NXT. And if it is, like, awesome, really. Um, but that's just my prediction. So, of course, give me your predictions in the comments. Uh, you don't have to agree with me. Like, you might say, well, I, um, I believe Dave Meltzer more than BQ, which is perfectly fine because he's much more tapped into the wrestling world than me. I wouldn't be mad at you for saying that. You got to keep in mind, most wrestling sites steal news from each other. There's only a couple real sources out there. So, um, you know what I mean? Like, if if you think, nah, I really think it's going to be someone from NXT, that's perfectly fine, uh, you know. Talk about it in the comments, of course, and we'll see what happens at, at Against All Odds.